for guns. I mean, does anybody doubt what's happening? And then it's guy in a mask who's in a government funded at the University of Denver brain interface neuroscience PhD student. I mean, it's always the same. It's always the same. I, you see, there's no end to any of this. I mean, I remember telling Watson this morning, I said, you watch, he's going to be connected to some government program like Harrison Kleibold. I mean, why does it always have to be the same thing? This is, uh, I mean, Jared Lee Loftner, I didn't want to believe that was an inside job. And now we've talked to the federal informants. It's come out, they were investigating Fast and Furious. I mean, who wants to believe they ship... Almost 20,000 guns and hand grenades to Mexico, and the memos come out that they were going to blame the Second Amendment with it. They got caught. They drug somebody up who mama ain't seen in weeks and has disappeared and is dropping out, who's in a government-funded mind control program. They have the real shooters go in and do it. They said there were multiple shooters. People don't even know, you know that it's real because they're so mind-controlled. Again, that's the mind control of just movies, that they're sitting there watching and thinking it's the movie so glued to it because those of us that are conscious and aren't set to go into suspended disbelief we look at other people that are zombies watching television and it's like hey hey bob and he's watching the football game let's you know let's go get some more beer or whatever and they're like hey 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 that's what it's like but this is even deeper with drugs it, it it's a standard mo at the Reichstag, at some of the Russian events, at other events, is that you have the drugged up Patsy, like Sirhan Sirhan, RFK shooting. This is exactly what I thought would come out of it. I knew the way they were hyping it with the police and the military and terrorism and just watching it, that this is a major rollout for PSYOP, probably for stage terror attacks and other things to start unfolding. Definitely more shootings at movie theaters. And then again, oh, I'm scared to go to the movie theater. Even though statistically, you, know, you got a better chance of being run over today driving down the highway or you got a better chance of being struck by lightning. Still, it's there. It's happening. Got to have police. Got to have TSA style at the prom. You know, they, They've got TSA at proms in New Mexico because terrorists might strike. And the new terrorists are white males. We've seen that rolled out. You know, the branding, it's not Al-Qaeda now, it's the white male, and here it is, and it's all part of this fantasy land. And even if he wasn't an official mind control victim, he's somebody in neurosciences, I mean, anybody tells you, some of those psychiatrists and people, the nuttiest folks around, got nuts running the insane asylum, got the inmates running the asylum, literally. I'll bet your bottom dollar, even if he is under mind control, which he probably is, that he's on Prozac-type drugs, watch, that's going to come out later. And... I mean, it just fits the standard MO 110%. It's the same story with John Lennon. Oh, if I could tell you the stuff I knew about John Lennon. I think I'll just shut up right there. John Lennon was killed by a mind control assassin. Okay? And I've talked to people, not just the evidence that proves it on the surface. I mean, I've talked to people... That we're there. Okay, I'm going to shut up right there. I'm going to shut up right there. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Alex Jones. Well, they've got calls to put naked body scanners in the shopping malls. Because there might be a shooter, even though Kurt Nemo just posted an article breaking down the statistics. Something to keep in mind as hysterical gun grabbers attack the Second Amendment. You've got a better chance of being run over by a out-of-control pumpkin truck than you do. I'm going to go over this a little bit later. Uh, if you just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, this is totally staged. I mean, it, it's just, it's a no-brainer. You add all of it together end to end, the tragic uh, shooting, the 14 dead now, they're saying, baby shot at point-blank range, Bloomberg within hours saying, turn in your guns. But he's going to hire some more government people with guns to keep you safe. Uh, it's just disgusting. And now we're not talking about the implosion in Europe financially. We're not talking about Fast and Furious or Obama rolling out the uh, Hugo Chavez talk saying that if you own a business, you didn't do it. It belongs to the state. Now we're all busy sitting here talking about this shooting. And there's the calls by the New York Times 
do something, Romney, do something, Obama, restrict those guns so we can live in crime infested areas like Chicago and New York where they have banned them and that have the highest crime rates in the country. Uh, let's go to John in Texas. John, what is your gut on this whole thing two weeks before the UN gun control treaty and right down the street from Columbine that was a completely staged event? Hello, Alex. Hey. You know, back in the 30s and 40s, uh, Hollywood was riddled with communists. By the, by the early 50s, they pretty much driven them all out. But in the early 60s, they all filtered back in again, and that's when we started seeing the glorification of drugs, the glorification of sex, the glorification of violence. And as each century has gone by, it's gotten to the extreme now, where as Katie barred the door, they can show anything. And one guy wrote a while, a while back, and he said that uh, what we call uh, cultural entertainment today is akin to the Roman Empire. There really ain't much difference with sexual effects the way they are. They oh, that's it. it. They create a death-obsessed culture. And they got a bunch of psychologists saying that today. Even in England, they've got articles like the Telegraph saying, death-obsessed culture, that's what's causing this senseless type stuff. And that's why we need our guns more than ever to protect ourselves from these demons. And we all know, Alex, that you look at the communist goals, communist rules for revolution, they said get control of the media and, 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 and steer it to this where we're at now where they keep more, use an excuse to keep more and more control over us. And this guy may be... A, a part of a plan, or he could just be a typical kook on the street caused by our culture. But uh, uh, either way, they're using this to, to push the communist goals, to disarm us, and putting us into a world government. Well, there's no doubt that what you're saying is absolutely on target, uh, John. Thank you for the call. David in New Jersey, you're on the air. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say um, the Denver Airport mural, uh, kind of like exact sequence of events, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Folks, show the, we actually have video of it in, in the computer file that McBrain shot. It is a guy in a trench coat with a breathing apparatus on his face like Bane shooting a bunch of little kids. And, then and there's a giant underground base right underneath it. We've talked to the police that have, uh, were there during the construction. There's a giant underground prison and relocation center right under it. The shadow government's base there. And they have uh, murals showing everything that's happened so far. Yes. And why? Because they're into the occult, and the, and the Illuminists believe you must show someone what you're going to do first before you do the actual act. They call that lesser magic. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and it's the, the exact sequence that comes out later in the mural is the burning of the guns and destroying of the guns and disarmament. <laughs> you know, you're right. I even forgot about that. Uh, guys, can we pull our video of the mural? I think it's in the computer system. We'll try to have them when we come back from break. Stay there. I want you to elaborate on that that's, that's what i mean it's just totally staged and then they have this is all a ritual and then later in the mural yeah they take the guns this is all a giant giant ritual because they had a trailer before showing the audience being shot up right before this happened they had a 1985 comic with the exact same thing happening in batman it's all in your face this is mind control hope you enjoy it alex jones they're saying that the Colorado shooter, just miles from Columbine, that shooting happened right before they were trying to pass anti-gun legislation. They're saying, ladies and gentlemen, that he kicked in the big metal doors, which anyone that's been around these modern theaters, and it was a modern one, knows, you're not going to kick one of those down without a battering ram. But he knocks it down, he's wearing a mask, and now they found him, and lo and behold, he was in a government-funded brain research program as a PhD student in neurosciences. That is being reported right now. Isn't that just interesting? He was a neuroscience PhD student. Just like Theodore Kaczynski when he got recruited into MK Ultra. Oh, you didn't know that's in the LA Times that the, the Unabomber was in the MK Ultra mind control program? Oh, but never mind that. Or, or Tim McVeigh's doctor from the time he was captured until he was executed was Jolly and West, who just died two years ago, who was the number two under Dr. Ewing Cameron, the head of MK Ultra, who admittedly kidnapped thousands of children and reprogrammed them with new personalities. That's History Channel. They had them in Maryland, also up in Toronto. Big mind control bases. That's, that, that, that's declassified. 
But the fact that, oh, his number two was McVeigh's doctor all those years, nothing to see here, move along. Or that Harris and Kleibold were connected to similar programs. And that whole story, and people reporting multiple shooters. And now we have the Denver airport that has murals about underground bases and a big Bane character with a breathing mask, a gas mask on, killing children with a machine gun and a sword. And then next in the mural, it shows guns being destroyed after that. They love it. They love throwing it in your face over and over and over and over again. Of all the places it could happen, right by Columbine, another guy in a black trench coat wearing a Bane breathing mask. Oh, but he's wearing a mask. We don't know. Again, this is standard black op. You send in your team. This even came out. I said this about the uh, attacks in India. Remember that a few years ago? And I said, those guys weren't Muslim extremists. They look like they're on drugs in the few videos. Turned out they were on PCP, LSD, and had injectors. Just whacked out of their minds, landed in boats. And the head of Indian security said it was staged by the West. He got killed that day. And then it came out in the news later. In the Chicago Tribune and other papers, that indeed a CIA operative had been running the attacks in India to be blamed on Muslim extremists. This, I mean, this is literally the Manchurian candidate. You've seen the remake of that with Denzel Washington? Folks, that isn't, that isn't fiction. That's fiction showing you what's really going on. I can tell you that people very close to John Lennon, there's a lot you don't know about that. And not just the fact that the person was under mind control that did it, was programmed by the catcher in the rye, and so was the shooter of Reagan. I mean, folks, th th this is programming. They've, they've had for hundreds of years a flower. That was in the news. In fact, I forget the name of it. You guys type in drug that makes you do whatever you're told. Drug that makes you helplessly. I mean, I mean they, uh, they say 100% of people that are given this drug, scopolamine out of the flower, there it is. That, that you tell them, stick your hand in the blender, chop your baby up with a meat cleaver, jump off that cliff, give me all your jewelry. You do it. Well, yeah, th that's, that's just what drug dealers and criminals can do, blowing some of this in your face. This is what they do. Sirhan Sirhan was on an amnesia. That's come out. The LAPD said he didn't shoot JFK, RFK, excuse me. So right as they want to pass the UN treaty, right as they don't have two votes they need in the Senate, right as all this happens, right as the campaign heats up, and they're now saying this is going to be Obama's new campaign, he's praying for those killed. 14 dead now, including a baby shot right in the face. And Kurt Nemo breaks down the statistics that one of the lowest forms of death is mass shooting. He has the numbers up there. Kurt might just change that headline to like, you know, you have a better chance of dying from, you know, uh, an infection in a hospital hundreds of times better than dying in a mass shooting. I don't know. I mean, the statistics are very important, though. Good job on that. Now, I'm going to go to your phone calls. I already went to a couple. But remember, eight federal agencies, eight federal agencies, eight, eight federal agencies, FBI, ATF, you name it, together, Knowingly shipped guns, upwards of 20,000 in hand grenades over three years to Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. And that came out in the ATF memos. I, I saw them two and a half years ago raiding gun shows and stuff for no reason and setting people up with fake IDs. Oh, uh, you know, have an illegal go out and buy a gun with a fake ID. The, 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 the private seller sells it to them and they go to jail. The system plays on this ignorance. And I said, look, you know, they're saying restrict guns because of Mexico. They're staging this. This is staged. Boom, it all came out. Because I had sources inside the DEA. Like Celica Steel. I mean, we're on record, folks. We're on record with this. Now, generally, with all I knew with this Dark Knight thing was Bain was seen, you know, fighting the government, anti-Wall Street. That's what it demonized protesters. And the same guy that wrote The Dark Knight rises, you know, it puts together the Call of Duty stuff where the new bad guy coming out in the new one is an anti-government type. I mean, th this is what they're doing. This is the message being sold to create this illusion that we're under real terror attacks and mass shootings when it's not really happening. There it is, the most dangerous drug in the world, devil's breath, chemical from Colombia, 